Good everyone, so I thought I'd do a short video demonstrating how I can run a 12 volt true sign inverter off of these salvaged 18650 cells that I've uh, recovered from used laptop batteries. So the first thing to, find, to figure out is you need to know the appropriate voltage. So this inverter uh, will not run at any higher than 15.5 volts. So that uh, restricts me to using three groups of cells in the series. Now, lithium ion batteries uh, have a fully charged voltage of 4.2. So 4.2 times three, that's 12.6. And that's about the uh, approximate same voltage as a lithium uh, lead acid battery. A lead acid battery runs about 12.8 to 13 volts max fully charged. Now it's not ideal, uh, fully discharged, your lithium batteries are about three volts. So three times three, that's nine. Uh, the inverter will shut off quite um, much earlier than that. So you're not going to use quite the full capacity of the cells, but it is a, a, a safe uh, way to, to make sure that you don't over discharge the cells anyways. So these cells, uh, I have 26 cells in parallel. So this is a group that is all together. And then th these the, in the middle here, you have another group. And then here you have another group. So it is a 26P. 3S. Now these cells are actually uh, lower capacity cells. So I've been testing um, cells for the last couple of years, and anything that was below 2,000 milliamp hour, I would uh, I would deem inappropriate for my other projects. So what I would do is I would build these battery packs. Now as you can see here, I've got quite a few packs built. Uh, There's 14 in total. Got four more over here. So my intention was that uh, I would build these packs and then uh, put them in, in parallel. Um, as long as you're not drawing too much current, uh, they'll do fine. Uh, so by having a lot of pa packs in parallel, um, it, it'll all be drawing very little current from each cell. But uh, the, uh, I guess, luckily for me, the hydro here has been very reliable. I think over the last couple of years, I only had one power outage of about a half an hour. Um, so I'd never really used these backs very much. Um, so using these balance wires, you can see the individual voltage of each group of cells. I've got different uh, meters that I can use to do that. This is one example over here. Um, this one can monitor up to eight different groups, and this is just a 3S, so you got the three different groups. Uh, I've got different ones set up over here. On these batteries here, this one allows me to also balance the battery voltages. This one just cycles through the different voltage. So all these work very well. Um, now, the way I've set it up here, I've got four uh, groups of batteries connected to the inverter. Uh, and I'll just show you how that works. So these uh, have fuses on them to, to, for protection, and it is currently on. Now, just to demonstrate, I can turn, I've got a shop back here to give it a load. So that was pulling approximately 750 watts. So this is a, cap is a capable uh, power supply for 120 volt applications. Uh, I've got some light bulbs there that I'm going to be used for, for testing. And in my previous videos, I showed uh, this uh, power pack, which is the same principle. Uh, it's also three groups of cells in uh, series. So it's exactly the same setup, it's everything's integrated into that power pack. So that's it for today. Um, in, the, in my next little videos, I'll be testing uh, these battery packs one by one and determining if, uh, if they're good or if I should just take them apart or maybe perhaps even sell them on eBay. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you guys later.